What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Sagittarius for February 2021. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me for a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and you'd like to support my ass, please go smash the like and subscribe buttons. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera. Like always, for you Sagittarius, so let's get right into the reading. We got the Two of Swords, we got the Nine of Swords, and then we got the Queen of Wands. So breaking this right down, uh, the Two of Swords represents an indecision. It is not knowing whether to stay or go. It is not knowing what to do in a situation. It's almost as if you could toss a coin and that would be the, the breaker for you. That would be uh, what makes the decision because it's almost like you cannot choose. You do not what you do not know what to do specifically because you are scared of it. You are very, very afraid of it. Now, it kind of jumps from that to you do make a decision and you are standing up for yourself very highly, uh, showing up as your actual star sign, Sagittarius, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, uh, Queen of Wands, Energy, Fire, Energy. Um, so I do definitely see you taking a hold of this later on but there's kind of a gap from I have this anxiety I don't know what to do to I do know what to do so let's let's figure out what this indecision is about specifically what are you indecisive about Sagittarius what is Sagittarius indecisive about here with the two of swords okay you're kind of indecisive with the Hierophant uh, either a Taurus individual or this is just kind of, you are indecisive about how things are done in society. This is kind of the tried and true method in society. Um, you Basically, let's just say, for example, uh, society expects you to uh, have a normal job. You go to school, you have a normal job. Then you meet a girlfriend, a straight monogamous relationship, and then you get married to her. You have a few kids, and then you retire with a white picket fence and a house in the background, all that shit. Uh, that's, that's how society wants you to view this. And I, I get the feeling that you're coming to a time where you're not sure if that's what you want. And all this time, the reason why you're scared of this is because this whole time you might be a little bit younger. Even though that you are the Queen of Wands, you might be um, just coming to that now. Because uh, I get the sense that this is, this is something that has... Our society kind of brainwashes us to telling us exactly what we are supposed to do and need. Uh, whereas if I, I, I'd be looked down upon for being gay, that kind of thing. This is kind of saying this kind of... Um, this tradition, these things that are set up by our families, by, by our mentors, by our pastors, by people and friends that expect us to do things a certain way. You're not really vibing with that. I don't get the, the type of feeling you don't really know what to do because you've been taught to do this thing forever your whole life. And now you're seeing that it's not really making you that happy. It's giving you these anxieties. And I went through this too when I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I realized it's because everybody expects me to be the certain way in a relationship and to have a certain relationship a certain way and that didn't make me happy I didn't I wasn't happy in that situation uh, because I didn't I didn't realize I was just doing what society wanted me to do I wasn't doing what I wanted to do and that's what I see happening here I get the feeling that you don't know what to do because it, it, you've been told your whole life what to do and how to think and that's not what you you're becoming of yourself you're becoming your own fucking creator and you're realizing this isn't really what I want and I'm telling you right now you are your own subjective person. That is perfectly fine. This is great. You're awakening to yourself. And this isn't... You're not supposed to have this life for other people to tell you what you're supposed to do with it. You're supposed to figure that out. That You, you only get this ride once and this body once. That's that's guaranteed. We, we may get more lives if you believe in that. But you only get this body once. And you only get this timeline once. So you better make the best of it. Um, and I do think that you are going to be doing that. Because the Queen of Wands shows you very solidly standing up for yourself and your beliefs and being a leader and still being true to yourself. So I do definitely think um, that this is going to be something that you do make a decision on and I think it's going to be the balance of your own happiness and what you want to do when it comes to how you want to present yourself and how you want to represent your energy as a whole when it comes to the universe. Uh, because honestly, our society, yeah, it's what we have to go off of. That's not the whole picture. We know that's not the whole picture. Uh, basically, my advice to you is uh, honestly <laughs> fuck the rest of the people fuck society um it, it's it's not for everybody these tried and true norms they are not for everybody and if it's not for you then who what, what who really cares like who really cares other than if people get upset at you 
for doing this in a certain way where you choose to go on your own feet uh, and do things on your own. Uh, really, it's not on wrong of you to be doing these things. It's wrong of these people to be telling you that they have a say to tell you what you should be doing with your life because you get to decide that, Sagittarius. I love you so very much, and I'm very proud of you because I do think that you are going to make the right decision here for yourself. I see you standing up very strong. I love you. I will see you on the flip side. Peace out. Bye.